Hey guys, Gary with Cameron 23 back again with this week's episode of First Watch number 20. Now I thought I'd do something a little bit special as it's uh, episode 20. And um, it's a film that um, I wasn't particularly kind of wanting to see, but um, I thought I'd kind of watch it anyway because of all the award, the Oscars it won. Uh, it won uh, Best Supporting Actress, um, Best Supporting Actor, is that right? Or, well, it won, it won quite a few Oscars anyway. And as you can see, I'm in a bit of a different setting because I'm actually at my uh, grandmother's house because basically, like I said, it's the film I wanted to see that got a lot of buzz from last year and it is Les Miserables. Now, as you can see, it's is, uh, rented from a uh, blockbuster because uh, I don't didn't want to kind of buy it and find out. I didn't because I'll say this now, I'm not a big fan of musicals. I mean, I don't dislike musicals, but it's not really my my bag, so to speak. It's just the you can just disc fell out. It's just the uh, DVD. And I said, just wanted to kind of check it out, see if I liked it. it got a lot of buzz last year, and it's a big release. Um, and it is a long film, two and a half hours. Basically, I said, I'm not a fan of musicals, but I wanted to kind of kind of check it out. So uh, I'm checking it out. So yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, yeah, so I just finished watching Les Miserables, and I have a lot to say about this film. Right. First of all, I'll tell you the things I did like, because that's not going to take very long. Uh, direction was great. The cinematography and the production design was just, everything was just like big and epic. Even in like the small, kind of small scenes where it's just kind of people, people sitting down singing a song. Everything's just big and, and lavish and great and everything, which is which is it's just beautiful. It's really nice to look at. Uh, the performances were great. There wasn't any anybody that was kind of weaker than anybody else. A lot of people kind of give uh, Russell Crowe shit because he wasn't that good a singer, but I, th I thought he did as, just, just as good as anybody else in the cast. Obviously, Anna Anne Hathaway um, winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. Fair enough. She didn't blow me away or anything, to be quite honest. Um, Amanda Seyfried, she wasn't in it for that long really. Uh, Eddie Romaine, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen and um, Helena Bonham Carter with the kind of the um, you know, kind of the comic relief, if you like. They're really funny. So not one bad performer in the bunch. Obviously, uh, the big kind of main character Hugh Jackman did a really good job. Uh, the, uh, again, something else I liked was the fact that it was all kind of like live singing because in some films like musicals they kind of like re like pre-record stuff and then just kind of like mime to it but there's nothing no none of that in this film which I really liked a lot of effort went into it there's nothing bad about that the things I didn't like were mainly plot points were kind of plot kind of plot holes I guess so that Jean Valjean has a lot to be guilty for I mean first of all he nearly gets someone arrested for something that he did and second of all, he did nothing when Anne, when Anne Hathaway's character got fired from that factory job, which I don't even know why she got fired in the first place. And then he, yeah, and then he promised to uh, to Anne Hathaway's character that she that he was going to bring bring her daughter back. He never did that because uh, Russell Crowe's character just again I've, I don't know, can't even remember half the character's name, so I'll just I'd say whoever's character. And then he, 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 and he doesn't do that because he gets again embroiled with Russell Crowe's character. That is a lot to be guilty for, which is kind of what the film is about in a way, I think, I'm not even sure. Kind of redemption, kind of, and kind of clearing consciousness and whatever. And also, it's like, it's like, Anne Hathaway's character, she, again, is going to be spoilers, I don't give a shit anyway. But she gets fired from a factory job, and then, for some strange reason, I mean, yeah, she needs the money and stuff, so she becomes a prostitute, that's fair enough. But then she gets paid for people to take her teeth out. Why would you do that in the first place? And then afterwards, when she's like singing and stuff, you can't tell she had teeth taken out in the first place anyway. And then kind of like later on in the film, kind of Russell Crowe's character kind of kind of comes in, a, kind of he's head of the I don't even know what he's head of, but whatever these people are fighting against. And then he kind of goes undercover as kind of one of the opposition and. Nobody know nobody realizes it's him. There should be there's like loads of people there. One person should realise who this guy is. I mean he's the head of who the fighting for Christ's sake. I don't understand that. And also somehow uh, Jean Barjon uh, gets a um 
gets a uniform. Yeah, first, yeah, he like finds he finds out that the uh, Eddie Ray, Eddie Remains character kind of falls in love with Amanda Sey Seyfried's character. Was it Cosette? Was it? I think. And then he like he doesn't like him because because he thinks that he's gonna he's gonna take Cosette away from him. And then like just on a whim, he just decides he likes him. I just don't understand what it is. And that's the main problem about the film. I don't know. There's so many plot points I do not get. I mean, they don't explain stuff properly. And then it comes back, and it comes to, I don't really uh, like kind of store, like kind of, you know, where film, you know, where kind of musicals, where the, the songs kind of fuel the story. Because if you can't hear what they're singing or whatever, and there's that singing too fast and stuff, you don't know what the hell's going on. And that's, and that's kind of my biggest gripe with this film. Half the time I did not know what was going on. For the first half an hour, uh, um, just off, yeah, just kind of after Anne Hathaway's character dies, I don't, I have no idea what is going on, and that's because I don't know if it, is it just me? Is it like really easy to understand? And I'm just, I'm just a moron. I just don't understand it. There's just so many just plot holes in this film. Oh, I don't, I don't even know where to where to carry on with. I really don't. So another thing I did like about the film is I like the kind of the more epic songs, like uh, I don't know what it's called, um, the, uh, let the beating of your heart, the, the beating of your drum, or something like that. Um, sorry, I'm really bad singing. I can't even remember what the freaking lyrics are. But anyway, I really liked that. The ending was ending was great. I had a kind of kind of a bit of a rush, kind of when kind of the like the end like the end shot with them all kind of. All the people who've died, kind of singing this, singing this song. And I thought that was really good. So the ending was really good. I really like that. So I really wanted to enjoy, it, but it's just again, like I explained before, just, just the plot. That the, I know the, the the way that the plot kind of unfolds. I just didn't understand half of it. Uh, I mean, I don't know, kind of who's who's rooting for who and who's kind of against who. I mean, I mean, Russell Crowe's character kills himself. I don't quite know why. Again, I don't know if it's me just like not understanding something. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's the other thing. People die in this film from I have no idea what. I mean, Anne Hathaway's character, what does she die from? Uh, um, John Valjean, what does he die from? I don't know. It's not explained. And I don't know why it isn't explained. I just don't know. And also, I was, um, and also cause my, mom, my uh, I was watching it with, with my uh, with my mum and she kind of, she, she read the... Um, kind of read some of the book and apparently there's like there's like a bit at the beginning that didn't even wasn't even in the film so I don't know if if that kind of if that had anything to do with it I'm not quite sure again just just I mean I get why people I mean it is big and epic and everything and I've, I've heard about like um kind of like clapping ovations at the end of it I'm not even quite sure why but the, just the effort that went into the film was was amazing. Just it kind of it's just I got annoyed at numerous numerous points throughout this film. So yeah, I was going to give this a um, a six out of ten, but I thought that doesn't really give it justice that much. And also, I really did like the ending. And so also, I think it's going to be kind of one of those films where um, it's going to be like I kind of when I think about it, it's going to be kind of So I also think it's one of those films that um, I'm going to kind of, if I think about it some more, I'll kind of, appre uh, kind of appreciate it more. Kind of when I was watching it, just kind of the, the plot contrivances or whatever just kind of put me off a bit. So yeah, like I said, I was going to give this a 6 out of 10. But after the ending, kind of think about it a bit more, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And uh, I can't really give it any more than that, to be quite honest. I mean, I think it's just kind of, not a love it or hate it thing, it's just if you're... I mean, I'm not kind of annoyed that I didn't like it, to be quite honest, but if, but I just th thought I would enjoy it a little bit more, but again, just the plot just kind of annoyed me numerous times, it just wasn't, the thing with me, if I can't follow a film, I'm not really invested in the film, therefore I won't really like the film, so I didn't particularly think it was anything too special, so I'll give it a good 7 out of 10. Because as I said, the direction was great, everything was like big and epic and everything, that was really good. And uh, that's about it, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's my kind of first watch number 20, which was Les Miserables. Again, I'm not in any rush to watch it again. I don't really care that I didn't like it, to be quite honest. So, uh, 
yeah, that's basically it. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.